Bible says in Psalm 119, beginning in verses 33, Teach me, O Lord, in the way of thy statutes, and I shall keep it unto the end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep thy law. Yea, I shall observe it with my whole heart. Make me to go in the path of thy commandments, for therein do I delight. Incline my heart unto thy testimonies, and not to covetousness. Turn away mine eyes from beholding vanity, and quicken thou me in the way. Establish thy word unto thy servant, who is devoted to thy fear. Turn away my reproach, which I fear, for thy judgments are good. Behold, I have longed after thy precepts. Quicken me in thy righteousness. That's what you and I are in need of today, is to be quickened by God's righteousness. You see, sin has killed you spiritually, ladies and gentlemen. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. When you sin, something dies. You, your body might not die right away, but your spirit is dead in the eyes of God. That's why the Bible talks about those of us that are saved from our sins, those of us that are born again Christians. It says we were dead in our trespasses and sins, but we're not anymore. Why? Because God has made us alive in Jesus Christ. God has made us alive in Jesus Christ, those of us that are born again. David said, quicken me in thy righteousness. So your sin has killed you spiritually, but God's righteousness can quicken you. The word quicken means to make alive. He can make you alive in his righteousness today if you'll be willing to repent of your sin. The Bible says that God commandeth all men everywhere to repent, for he hath appointed a day in which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man. Who is that man? That's the Lord Jesus Christ. He is that man that God will judge the world in righteousness by. The Bible says that God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. The Bible says every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give an account thereof. At the day of judgment, every word you've ever said, folks, think about that. Every gossip, every dirty joke, every lie you've told, every time you've used the name of God in vain, God's keeping record of even the, every idle word. And the Bible said, I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, John said. And the books were open, and another book was open, which is the book of life. And the Bible says, whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. And the Bible describes this lake of fire in the gospel records, Jesus describes it as a place where the worm dieth not and the fire is not quenched. And the book of Revelation, John describes it as a place where the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, neither have they any rest day nor night. So hell and the lake of fire are a real place. A real place where those who are not saved, those who are not forgiven, those who have not turned from their sins and believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, it's where they will spend an eternity in literal conscious torment. The Bible says that sin has a payday coming, folks. There's coming a day when you're going to give an account to the Lord for your sin. And so the Lord Jesus Christ said in His holy word, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way which leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. 99.9% .9 of humanity, folks, is headed to that lake of fire and brimstone. Who will not inherit the kingdom of God? The Bible says, neither fornicators nor adulterers nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. The Bible says, He that committeth sin is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. And the Bible says, For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that He might destroy the works of the devil. Jesus died on the cross to destroy the work of Satan in your life. What is the work of Satan? It's the work of sin. It's the work of disobedience. The work of ungodliness. 
That's what Jesus came to destroy. The Bible says that the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. It's time to seek God while he might be found. There's going to come a day, folks, when you're not going to be able to seek God. Because the Holy Spirit has to draw you. Jesus said, no man can come unto me except the Father which sent me draw him. And I will raise him up at the last day. And there comes a point people reject God too long. And God says he gives them over to a reprobate mind. He gives them over to a reprobate mind where they cannot repent. They cannot believe. So it's important to seek God while you're still able to, folks. God said in his holy word, he's long-suffering. He's patient with all men. He says he causes his rain to pour upon the just and the unjust. But there does come a point where God draws a line in the sand. I'm afraid many people today, especially the people marching the streets on June, have crossed that line in the sand. But you don't have to cross that line, folks. You can be saved today.